because this is going to be the hottest day it looks like of this stretch for the heat wave. So, uh, you know, we know what to do now. We've had this since last, what, uh, Wednesday? Was it, we start Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, something like that. Uh, so 90 degree days so far. Central Park finally, finally got a couple of 90s. So now you're at 17. LaGuardia, you're at 26. Newark, you're at 34. Newark, you're going to eke out another one. Everybody's going to eke out one today because it's easy. Uh, 35, 36. You're going to have 36 90 degree days here in two days. That's amazing for, uh, for this time of year. That's amazing. Uh, now our temperatures are close to where they should be for highs. <laughs> Your average high is around 84 for the city. We're at, in Lenox Hill, we're at 82. Ozone Park, 83. Newark's at 81. Rise at also in the low 80s. Feel like temperatures. As this is why I'm saying this may be the hottest of the stretch of this uh, heat wave of these last, what, four, six days. What have we got? Five, six, seven days? 99 to 107. That's what it's going to feel like today. 99 to 107. I'm saying to you right now, today you really got to take it easy, just like you did yesterday and the day before and the day before that. So we're tracking work week rain. We need some rain. The reason we need it, we need it to cool us off. There is a frontal system just to the west of us. Here's the frontal system there. That front is going to start to move this way, and it's going to kind of go stationary. But let, let me finish that thought. It's going to head this way, and it says that it could ignite some showers. The, the problem here is this. We've got that triple barrel high. We've got the big dome of high pressure over us, and it's trying to prevent any real lifting to happen in the atmosphere on top of us. And if we don't have a good, you know, lifting mechanism, a strong front to make that moisture-laden air rise, condense, and drop, uh, then we're limited on how much rain we see in the area. If we do have some lift, we could see some flash flooding. There's so much moisture in the atmosphere, we should be able to see uh, some heavy downpours. We don't want flash flooding, but it is a possibility where we might see those showers today. I just can't tell you where because the rain futurecast isn't painting a lot of it, but there is a chance of it. Same situation tomorrow. We have the chance of seeing, you know, some heavy downpours, but again, it's not widespread. Our temperatures are going to be basically close to 90 degrees tomorrow. 90 degrees tomorrow. Not as hot as today, but still hot. We really don't get any relief until this frontal system moves to the south of us and we allow this secondary front to get through here Friday and Saturday. Once that happens, then we're going to see a big relief from this heat. But as you can see, through Friday, we're still flirting with close to 90 degrees. Friday into Saturday, as that front heads this way, it's going to bring some cooler air. Montreal's temperature today is 66. The reason I'm telling you that is because that's the air we need on top of us. And if that works out, this model, which is normally running on the chilly side, where it says 75 degrees on Friday, it's possible we could be below 80 degrees Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, if we're lucky. 105 today, and then a feel-like temperature still of 91 tomorrow. Things get much better. Once we get that front through here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I think this weekend is going to be a great, great uh, bonus uh, weekend for us because it's going to be low humidity, lots of sunshine.